Hi guys. Hi guys, today we are going to start a new series called Ask Eric and Tracy. Well, because every day we have been meeting with so many associates and buyers and sellers that they often ask us questions which we actually discussed and felt that hey, maybe we should put, do a series like that and share with everybody. So Eric, what is the question that we are going to discuss today? So for the past one month, the most frequently asked question by our associate and even buyer and seller is about the COVID-19. Yeah, actually in during this period of time, COVID-19 period, we actually see a very strong sales during the month of February, especially in the new launches. In fact, the M sold about 70% in a day. We have not seen this phenomenon for a long, long, long time. time. So to see how is the impact of COVID-19 and how long it lasts, frankly speaking, we are not sure about that. We have a look at past 20 years data to see how past similar crises and how it impact the property market and prices then. So we look at the past 20 years chart from 2001 to 2019 property price index over the past 20 years. So from what you see right now, in the year of 2003, we actually have the SARS period together with the US-Iraq war. And that period, the prices didn't really go down much. But after the crisis then, the prices actually showed up by more than 55%. Then in the year of 2008 to 2009, we actually have the global financial crisis. And 2009 to 2010, we have the H1N1. You see, there's a big drop in prices. But after that period, you see a sharp rebound in prices. And the rebound in prices go all the way up until 2013, where the government got to come in with a series of cooling measures till today. So let's take a look at the transaction volume for the same period in 2001 to 2019. So in the year 2003, we are met with SARS as well as the US-Iraq war. The transaction volume dropped by 32.4%, but once this crisis is over, there's a sharp rebound of 237% all the way to 2007. So in 2007, we are once again met with the global financial crisis where we see a drop in terms of the volume again at 66.4% but within a year the market actually picked up and transaction volume went back at 146% and carried through through the H1N1 crisis so in 2013 we see a drop in terms of the volume again due to the introduction of TDSR framework however within a year the transaction volume start to pick up gradually through the 2017 in 2018 due to the ABSD change there is a slight drop of 13.5% in terms of the transaction volume again. So yeah, look at the past 20 years data, be it the price index or the transaction volume. I think one thing very clear is after every crisis, there's always a sharp rebound. So if you are considering to make a purchase right now, I think one important thing to note is you must evaluate your financial standing. You must be able to hold out this crisis period. We don't know how long this crisis will last, but as long as you have done your sum correctly, I think it will be safe because I think overall, in the long run, Singapore property prices are still set to go up because our fundamental never change. So if you are thinking of buying or selling any properties and you think you need more information or more affirmation to whether it is a good time to do this, you can feel free to give us a call. I'm Tracy. I'm Eric here and you can get us at 9062-7773 or 9762-7772. So we look forward to hear from you soon. Bye.